as we mentioned earlier on, one family's home video of a boy called John, he's <laughs> taking over the show, isn't he, really? uh, biting his brother's finger, has been viewed over 390 million times on the internet. Yes, and it's now making little Charlie's parents a lot of money. So what makes a home movie a worldwide hit? Mm. Well, Lisa Siegel logged on to find out. Since YouTube launched in February 2005, the internet has become awash with millions of video clips uploaded by the public that rack up more than 3 billion views per day. But what is surprising is that people are now earning big bucks from internet films made on simple camcorders like this one. So I'm going to try to find out what is the secret to becoming an internet movie mogul. Ouch! Uploaded in May 2007, Charlie Bit Me has become the most watched home video clip ever. Charlie Bit Me. So how did Charlie Bit Me, how did it come about? How did you come to make that film? I bought a video camera when the boys were born, and I've been recording them at odd moments as they've been growing up. I tried to share it with the boy's godfather who lives in America, and the easiest way to share it with him was to put it on YouTube. That's just the simplest way to do it. So can I be very vulgar? How much did you earn? Well, what we say is that we weren't in excess of £100,000. Wow. Since it's gone, gone on YouTube when we started. Now, a question for Harry. Oh. Did it really hurt when Charlie bit you? I can't really remember it, so um, I'm not that sure, but it definitely did hurt. Ow! Charlie, you're hurting me. <laughs> but how do you turn internet hits into cash? Charlie, you really bit me! <laughs> Here at Google's London headquarters, I'm meeting Claudine Beaumont, who will explain how free videos generate money. So how did Howard and Shelley make money from their video? All you need to do is upload your video to the site, we serve up advertising against it, and you get a share of the revenue. So can people really make a living from doing this? Big videos on YouTube can attract a global audience of hundreds of millions of views. You know, almost as many people as might go and see the latest Hollywood blockbuster. So it can be a very lucrative full-time job for a lot of people who upload videos to the site. One person earning a successful living making films on YouTube is 21-year-old Tom Ridgewell, a.k.a. Tom Scar, who makes mini blockbusters from his front room in London. No Well, the reason I wanted to become an internet filmmaker was sort of because I just wanted it to be me and my audience and it was sort of to cut out the middleman of having to get a job and, and everything and working your way up a really gradual ladder and finally making a first film by the time you're 50. Did you go into it to make money? Did you know you could make money? No, I had no idea I could make money off the internet. I mean, I was 10 when I really started to get interested in this thing and it was only around about when I was 18 that I realised, oh, I, I can make a living off this, OK. Uh, if you're good and quite lucky, uh, you can find yourself making five figures a month. In a month? Yeah, that can happen. What tips do you have for people who want to make a viral video? What should they do? I think the best advice I can give is that you keep it short and snappy and then also keep it relatable, so something that people can you know, relate to and it has something to do with their life because then they'll remember it and it gets stuck in their heads. Can you help me to make a viral video? I could certainly try. <laughs> you're, you're walking in from this door. Tom is making two films with me, both set in the One Show studio. One is about bears. Oh, no, bears! And the other about cats. Yeah. Hello, I'm a cat, and we're here at the One Show. Hey, Luce, what's up? Uh, okay. Hey, can that be on TV? I'm somewhat out of my comfort zone, but willing to trust in Tom's expertise. They're everywhere! And that's a wrap. Well, thank you. It was unexpectedly really, really good fun, and I look forward to seeing the results. Me too. <laughs> mm. So there we are, Twiggy. What one would you like to see? The one with Lucy being attacked by bears or oh, cats yeah. taking over the studio? Oh, I think it has to be cats. It has to I be cats. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait. <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm glad to hear that. How you doing, Lucy? Well, actually, I, have... I don't care. Hey, can I be on TV too? No. Wait. I got a camera. I can't wait to eat my lunch. Who put those clouds up there? I'm a spinning in a chair. Are we alone in the universe? Talk about recycling. Thank you. I've well, spent all of my wages on hats. I'm a cat. No. Oh. <laughs> Well, there you go. OK, then. So we actually put both clips on the BBC YouTube channel uh, last night and in a short space of time being viewed by over 
34,000 people. Wow. wow. That's extraordinary. It is. Wow. wow. It is what extraordinary. <laughs> We've put a link actually on the website Have so we? you can really check it out. Oh, just click and see what you think. So um, why do you think clips like that are so popular then? Well, you look I just used as I did. Yeah. I don't I was, get it. No, I didn't get it. They had to explain what it was about. They've got to be bold, bright, loud, and very, very short because the idea is mm. that they're viral videos so your friends, you pass it amongst themselves and they think oh it's quite funny we'll pass it on but they say it's not it's not nuanced it's not emotionally deep there's none of that it's mm. all really really slapstick but in that confusion you'd click to watch it again Exactly. You? So you'd sort so of get double the amount. But they know their audience like so yeah. well. And their audience might be 15-year-old boys in Ohio, but they know who they are and they make these films for yeah. them. Amazing. And everybody watches them. They're huge. Mm. Yeah. huge and some aren't just quirky cartoons. No. And <laughs> some no. people actually go on there to uh, yes. look at uh, knitting techniques. Is that right, Lucy? <laughs> I shouldn't have told you <laughs> oh, that. I'd like I'm that. so rock and roll, <laughs> honestly. I've started to knit again and I find the patterns really, really complicated and the instructions even worse. But YouTube, you can see a granny who's been knitting for, you know, years and years, do a close up of a stitch and then you've got it. I know people That's who fix brilliant. their loos, uh, <laughs> learn to fix a washer, put a picture up, all from online videos, and I think that's incredible. And if you think of people in the developing world coming online, the transfer of knowledge and information oh, that yeah, way, yeah. how amazing. How Did amazing. they show you how to make your cards again, Lucy? No, but it is a bit short, but I haven't made it yet. Yeah, so I haven't we're all, we're all getting scarves for Christmas yeah. then, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with big drop stitches and holes. Yeah. But there is another clip that you'd like to show us. Yes, isn't this is great. This is a, a new uh, online sensation, basically. Oh, it's had word. two million views. Look at these naughty, naughty <gasps> children. Now what this, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you do? There is some controversy over whether it's fake or not, as there always is over these things. Right. But look, yeah. I want to see the, the clip of her cleaning up afterwards. That's what I want to see <laughs> online. The question is, is that one bag of flour? That is not yeah. one bag of flour. It's a lot of flour. It is. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks, Lucy. Thank you. Brilliant.